Hello and welcome to the Free Cheese episode 210. I'm your Joe Dix, joined tonight by Mark Augustiniak. Hey, Matt Sauter. <laughs> Hello. The Free Cheese, the weekly video game podcast about video games, brought to you once a week by thefreecheese.com. Ham indeed. Hey. You hamming it up over there? A little bit. Oh, man. This is weird. We're here on a Monday night. It's which a weird we energy. We start off with some ham. <laughs> start off with some ham. It's always good on a Monday. How are you? Did you enjoy your Sunday nights off? Yeah. All right. I got pet some horses. That was weird. Horses? Yeah. I've never been around a horse. What are they're they like? They're intimidating. I think I've been around a horse. They're big. Did you get on it? No. Oh, oh okay. God, no. I, I rode my, my cousin's horse like way back without a saddle. That hurt. Oh, because you're just right on the bone. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good time. Mm. I mean, it wasn't much. It was just a little... Mm. It wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't galloping really fast. It was just like... just walking. Did you not use a saddle because they were blazing? Mm. That's why I would use it. Did you guys switch chairs? What the (laughs) fuck was that? We did for a while now. Oh, yeah, you did. I've been meaning to give it... If you want it... No, no, actually, I'm I'm good in this because I can... Okay, Pick my feet that's up fine. if I see the occasional spider. This you know. is like a weird back slash armrest thing. I it's pretty good. It. It's pretty good stuff. Just like a little pillow for my butt. That's what we do. What we do. How was uh, Mark, you did. You've had uh, lots of people fucking on Thanksgiving, we've learned. Yeah. Because you've been attending a lot August of August is birthdays. so busy, and it's not done yet. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, right, got it. Got you get it. it. Yeah, I, see, go. I see what like, happens. I have like, th- there's like another birthday and on like the 29th. I still have to like worry about. It's too much. And then just other events going on that aren't birthday related, but it's too much. You went to uh, Six Flags. Yeah, I drove up to Jersey. Oh, you went to that one. Great adventure. How's that one? I've never been to that one. It's, I've only it's done. Nice. Okay, yeah. Normally, I don't care about Six Flags. The one we got is trash. It's like the Walmart of theme parks. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh it's yeah, it's horrible. terrible. They don't care. It's like I, hopeless. Everybody oh, really? just doesn't give a shit. When's the last um, time you've been there? That one? The yeah. Mar- uh, Maryland one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say within the past like five years. Oh, okay. Because I haven't been since I was in high school. Yeah, not much has changed. It's just... All right. Yeah. Imagine if like a Six Flags branch was owned by Gator from this jam. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. like nothing, yeah. like, nothing <laughs> right. is... Nothing has care in it. Like um, nobody's taking care of their stuff. It's just like very minimal. That sucks. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of health code violations. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, last time I was there I was I was sixteen, seventeen. I don't know. Yeah. God, um, it's over a decade. Jeez. So so Great Adventure is really nice. That was the first one I've ever been to as a kid. That's weird that and, something uh, in Jersey's nice, but Yeah. I yeah. You know, it, it's that's a good point. Um No, but this has like we didn't go to it this time, but I've been to it before. They have a little safari part mm. where uh, you can look at the animals and all that. And then by the end of it, you can feed giraffes. It's pretty, True. They have pretty, weird tongues, don't they? They do. Really long. They tongue you? They get you? Uh, kind <laughs> don't of. Don't make that fucking face. No? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. I won't do it. That's just his normal face, man. Yeah, it's just me <laughs> thinking about giraffes. Terry greets everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine? Oh. You have- Got any waffle cones? <laughs> yeah, I could. Could you just imagine the first time I come over, like, "Hey, Matt," and then I just, I just leave. I just leave. I, I'm, I'm done. Got some fava beans. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I might have to start greeting. Feel good on your way. ears, listener. No. That's a good. It's a good face to do in traffic. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> just look over at someone. <laughs> if they want to get over. You just make that face. Yeah. 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 No, like fuck. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Hop a curb to get away. Yeah. <laughs> No, but yeah, no, it was pretty fun. Um, there were some new coasters I didn't see before, but I tried to write everything. Lost mm. my voice. Um, oh, good. Is everything everything's DC Comics related, right? And and Bugs Cause, Bunny because Warner Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it's, so, huh? Uh, Scooby Doo? They have any Scooby Doo? No, huh. the uh, Kings Dominion used to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it, it also Kings Dominion used to have Nickelodeon stuff too. But then that ended. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Because like I guess they're separated from Paramount now. Yeah, this, yeah. Um, King's Dominion is not associated with Paramount. Yeah, anymore. now like everything is like peanuts related. Yeah, which Met is life. weird because Cedar Point main mascot is Snoopy and Woodstock. Hmm. So I don't, I don't, maybe unless they switched with them, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. But uh, I mean, the rides are still there, so that's fine. Yeah, it could um, be the same branch, like a, like a Six Flags. Like it's it's a, it's a theme park under the same like Cedar Point company. has a roller coaster that apparently goes around the whole park. That's Holy cool. shit! That's yeah. the one that has the one that's the highest yeah. one in the it's world. It's like in right? Ohio or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I would really, really love to go to that. But uh, yeah, so th- this was fine. Um, I rode this one coaster called the El Toro. Apparently, it's famous. Mm. 
I didn't know why. It's a wooden roller coaster, so now you're thinking like, oh, it's bumpy and it hurts and painful. But like, I the, love the, the cart itself isn't um, like carved traditionally like other wooden roller coasters. It's all laser cut and nice, so mm. you don't feel all that jaggedness That's when you're good. riding. But it's really fast. Yeah, seventy miles per hour the whole yeah. time. When you're going on those turns, you're going like Sonic style horizontal, where your face is like five inches from the ground, and I'm like screaming for my life and thinking my head's going to get decapitated at every turn and hill. Cause like all those little <laughs> boards, he made the face again. <laughs> this, he, like as you're going down, there's like little archways of like planks making X's or whatever. So like, I'm afraid to put my arms up or anything. I'm just like, I'm just turtling the whole time. I had that on Joker's Jinx at the, apparently the trashy Six Flags. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, that but ride, Joker's Jinx, that ride is okay. <laughs> Joker's but, Jinx slows down right in the middle of it. it. Sucks. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember just being terrified that I was gonna bump my head. There's a new Joker ride. Mm-hmm. In, at Great Adventure, mm-hmm. where it's basically a moving zipper. Oh yeah! So it just it's all it's all compact, and yeah, you yeah, just yeah. go back and forth down, and, and you're the, just spinning. And the, yeah, yeah, the car is moving as well. Yeah, that's fuck. I love. You're the not zipper. in the cage either. It's just a seat that's just spinning. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Did I it, love that. Did shit. It at nighttime, I found out that roller coasters at night is the best. That's yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Even wooden coasters, I get that uh, um, Donkey Kong Country Two vibe, oh, that carnival yeah. level. Dun, 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 dun. With like hey, the skull coasters. Here's what we do: Can we make a commitment right now? Hershey Park Halloween. Let's do it. Hershey Park, huh? Do they have like scary things there? Yeah, every theme park has something scary going. On. Okay, I. Okay. But I don't know. But is that the good one? It's I don't know if it's the best one, one, but Hershey Park's drivable. True. In a day. Great Bear is my favorite coaster there. Yeah, great Bear is yeah, great. It's, oh, great. it's a great plus, coaster. they have fucking chocolate. But uh, King's Dominion. <laughs> <That's the thing. laughs> yeah, welcome to the party. King's Dominion has the coaster that I passed out on twice. Oh, what is that one? The Intimidator. Oh, yeah. It's like a, it's Dale like a, Earnhardt. It's, it's like a NASCAR. <laughs> it is. It, it's, it's based it's, off it's, of Dale yeah. Earnhardt. Yeah. yeah. But there, you there, get tunnel out. vision. Yeah, you get tunnel vision. There, there's a sign that tells you that you could experience like different types of G-Force, and it will pass you out. Oh, I'll get some G-Force. First time I went on it. It did like that. You know, if you have, like, those, like, old, like, VHS camcorders that they make yeah, home yeah, movies, yeah. you know, you have different transitions to do where, like, fades to black and fades out. Exactly that happened for, like, a second. In your brain. Yeah. And then the second time, I was screaming so much. Apparently, you're supposed to, like, clench your butthole and you won't pass out when you're screaming. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Take note, right. kids. I did not do this. I just, I was, I was, like, screaming out of excitement. Then all of a sudden, apparently, I just went, oh, shit! And I passed out. <laughs> and... Uh, my eyes couldn't open because of the wind keeping my eyelids shut. So, but like, you know, if you close your eyes, you can see light still shining through. Mm. So it was like that constantly. I didn't know where I was. So I'm trying to like grab anything for my life. And so I just look like I'm having a seizure and like in my chair. And then I finally grabbed myself like the handles that are on top of me. And when I, I finally opened my eyes and I, and I realized where I was, like, I just forgot for like five seconds where I was. And I was like freaking out and I couldn't, I didn't say anything or scream. But by the time I woke up, uh, the camera got me as I was already awake. I was hoping uh, it I was gonna got ask, me. what did the picture look like? Yeah, I was I was hoping it would have got me passed <laughs> out. Oh man! So like that's a story my friends will never let down. That I just went, uh, I went uh, spaghetti arms is what I call it. <laughs> spaghetti <laughs> arms. <laughs> All right, we need to take a selfie stick next time or a GoPro. Yeah, I want to wear a GoPro like a chest mount. And yeah. just Go through all that. <laughs> go through spaghetti arms. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, yeah that, um, but yeah, that, that, that was fun. I pretty much just rode every roller coaster there. Uh. Ended the night with amazing food. What'd you eat? Taco Bell? <laughs> Let me tell you. The finest of Taco Bells? Funnel cake. All right. Sunday. All right. It's just a big plate. Funnel cake drenched in powdered sugar, and then mm-hmm. right in the center is a couple scoops of ice cream and hot fudge poured on top of that. And then whipped cream on top of that. And then two of my friends ordered that as well, and they shared theirs. Two people per plate, ate mine by myself, finished it. Did they get you a t-shirt for that? No. All right. I'm trying really hard not to do the face again because I keep, want keep to. keep doing it. It's fine. But as you said that, that's all I Just was thinking about. Just freaking that out. That's all I was thinking about. <laughs> Damn. I need, a, I need good fair food. Yeah. that. I mean, that was pricey, but I don't care. No, it sounds That was worth perfect. it. It was worth it. Yeah. There's cotton candy dipped in chocolate. I'll do some of that. Yeah. Do was they there, make uh, that? Hmm? Could you be dipping dipped in chocolate? I feel like there's chocolate flavored cotton candy. All right, I'm sure there is. No, I want to bite into like a if Snickers bar and have it filled with cotton candy. Grapes? Mm-hmm. Ever, ever heard of those? No. I think Wegmans had them. Grapes. Yeah, grapes taste like cotton candy. 
I don't know if I want that. <laughs> but in theory, I don't, that's that's all right. All right. Yeah. Cotton candy raisins. I mean, we have fruit flavored gummies. <laughs> so why not like flip it around a little bit? <laughs> candy flavored fruit? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, can I have a banana? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is Skittles? Yeah. <laughs> it's only the green ones, dude. These apples taste like M&M's. Yeah. All right, fuck it. Cut them up. Eat the seeds. God damn. <laughs> uh, how about Sunday? You had a, you had a birthday? Um, yeah, my friend had a birthday, but uh, so just spent that day and just, you know, ate food, had some cake, watched Game of Thrones. What kind of cake? Um, it... <sighs> I believe. Did it have the word ice cream at the beginning of it? It was just a plain cake. I'm over it. It was, uh, it was just a yellow cake. and. Uh... <laughs> Did you but, get... but, I th- but I think the icing was a type of buttercream. Well, buttercream's was, good. That was pretty oh, nice. Good. What was the yeah. design? There was no that's design, but, but my friend made it right there from scratch. Uh, so. uh, I was going to say, did you get yourself a Crayola ice cream cake yeah, and yeah, make yeah. a design off of uh, uh, the the shirt? The shirt yeah, one of our... Hank Hill? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that was the name no, of that? No. TKO. T- TKO. TKO. Yeah. yeah. No, no. But uh, between all that, mm. um, drove out to Pennsylvania Saturday and got a tattoo. Oh, shit. Yeah, you told me you were doing that. Where Tattooed it up. Let got me see your stand. body. Show me your body. Look at that. I mean. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Explain to the listeners because they don't know what <laughs> your arm looks like. Uh, Well, for you uh, Digimon fans out there, it is the Crest of Courage. Mark, are you listening? On my shoulder. I think I did there. <laughs> what is the Crest of Courage? It's so like each character in the show, there's like eight. It's like a group of friends. Uh, they each have like a special trait that stands out of more than the rest. Yeah, so yeah. each one is kind of known for that because they're the like Digi Destin is their names. Mm-hmm. So the main character, Ty, uh, his is a Crest of Courage. He's the one who has like Agumon as a as like his partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's him and then his friend, his name is Matt. Uh, he has the crest of friendship, and their Digimon once they reach like the mega like highest level, um, they fuse, and then they become Captain Planet. Close. Damn. They become this uh this creature called Omnimon, or in Japan it's Omega Mon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so like each of them become like a limb of Omnimon, and then like uh Ty's Digimon like his side is the left arm. So it's just like he has that crest on the shoulder, and then like his head is the hand. That makes sense. A sword comes out of that head. Also makes sense. And there's like a bunch of like hieroglyphics on the sword. That part I still need to get mm-hmm. on my lower arm, so I want that to match with that's the top cool. part. So I'm pretty much just replicating that. That's dope. I like that you went black with it too, because you sent me the. Oh yeah, the image I showed you was like orange or whatever. Yeah, it was like, like yellowy yellow. orange and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the plain black just it looks good. Yeah. Why Pennsylvania? Because I mean, um, that's where my friend works. Oh. And she's an apprentice right now, and um, she needed more simple stuff to do, so I figured we'd help each other out. Hmm. It was technically free because apprentice can't charge, right. but I gave oh. her a nice tip anyway. Cause oh yeah. Artists I think yeah, that's what that. they, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's dope. Is your first one? First one. Man, it took me long enough. I mean, hey, almost thirty. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Got my eyebrow pierced when I was 17 and then just wait another over a decade to get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the next tattoo? That I'll probably want to do that one that next. One. That sigils, the hieroglyphic thing on my arm. And then after that? that? Um, I think I'm going to get stuff written on my wrists. Like some kind of like ancient. Y'all fucking? Like, yeah, like. <laughs> Y'all fucking. <laughs> pretty much like probably <laughs> some like ancient Greek type stuff just written on there. There was cool. one. Of, I think there was one of. I forgot what's pronounced as. It's like Meraki or something like that. It pretty much means that like you pour like your heart and soul into your work or your your art or whatever. You have to double check with Ben. Yeah, he's a Greek fella. Ah, uh-huh. uh-huh. okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, something like that. I think I might get that on my right hand since I'm right. I'll tell you if it actually says it or if it says olive oil. <laughs> that would be fine too. Most Greek words translate to olive oil. No, but like, <laughs> really? yeah, it's true. And then for those who don't know or even want to care, yeah, I'm like kind of like a renaissance dude with art i guess i like you know music drawing video stuff you name it so and just being right-handed figured it makes sense to have it right there i think it's really cool yeah thanks i think it's cool you're uh exploring your body in new ways <laughs> <laughs> sounds way weirder than it you should have made the face right after that you that would have been perfect <laughs> how's your week been matt i can't i'm cringing that's, yeah that's a weird tongue movement that's coming I'm, out of your mouth that's uh <laughs> The way she goes. Uh, once again, another week just went right by. Yeah, it did. 
man, I feel like I feel like I'm like doing nothing, but I'm doing all the things. Just yeah. going out, celebrated birthday with my mom. Yeah, I see. Out, you yeah. too, huh? Birthday yeah, stuff. Just, yeah. just went out and had some good dinner. But no, next. So starting Friday, <laughs> this upcoming Friday. It's coming Friday. Starts the I think it's seven out of eleven Orioles games. It's a big stretch that ends with me going to Boston in Fenway Park. So what do you got? Are they consecutive weeks? Is it week, 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 week? So yeah, I uh, I'm going this Friday, this Saturday. Yeah. I will make an appearance next Sunday. Yeah. And then uh, I go. I think it's Tuesday, and then I'm off Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. Those games in. Fenway Park. That one's there. And then come back that Monday, back in Camden Yards. And then where would that put them in the season? Uh, we Just got another, playoffs? We got another full month, hmm. September. Uh, this team, I don't think we're going to make the playoffs, but, mm-hmm. you know, it's going to enjoy the ride while we still have them. Mm. Now you're, I know you're hockey and I know you're baseball. What mm-hmm. about football? Where do you land on that? Uh, I like just watching football for the most part, but I am a Ravens fan. Mm. Uh, I mean, I think last year made that evident. I talked about them every Sunday, just about. Did you? I already forgot about that. Yeah. I just remember the hockey. No, uh, yeah, a lot of hockey. No, uh, I do like the football. Mm. Uh, that will be starting soon. Preseason already started. Mm. So, yeah. But no, I fancy drafts, though. My first one's Tuesday. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. good stuff. Mm. Yeah. Is it look, how's, how's that looking? I haven't even started studying yet. I so. mean the football. <laughs> the football, is it? Uh... Oh, the Ravens? Mm. Ah, they're going to be mediocre. Mm. See, the average Raven fan thinks Joe Flacco is mm. always that wrong. Mm. He's not. Just can't throw the ball because there's no protection. You got to protect ah. the man to let him throw the ball. Ever since they got rid of that other guy, Mr. Lewis, Raymond. He was on defense, but you know. Everybody loves him. Oh, Jesus right. Christ. He's not an offensive He's back. defense. We man. found him again. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I had one of those <laughs> earlier too. Same reference, but what, different. A, a Ray Romano moment. Katie and I were. In the, <laughs> hey, I'm a lonely mammoth. No. <laughs> Katie and I were in the car, and she said something. She was like, "Did you know that everybody blah 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 blah?" Oh, and okay. I was like, "Oh, really?" I was like, "Oh my god, you know, funny you should say that. Did you know that everybody loves Raymond? <laughs> Did you know everybody also hates Chris? That's yes. true too. <laughs> it's very true. Oh man, you ever been to Boston before?" No, I'm very excited. What's your What are you looking forward to most? Weird uh, statues? No, I feel like they got a lot of weird statues of Benjamin Franklin. I'm a, I'm a beer man, right? Sure, I've heard of it. What's a famous brewery in Boston? Samuel Adams. Mister Sammy Adams. That's what I said. Doing a little brew tour. You, oh, nice. Yeah, Sammy Sam. Not and Samuel should... Jackson beer. Not to be confused <laughs> no, with that. Yeah. But you but... should be there just in time for Oktoberfest. Oh, I'm gonna try all the things. Well, but yeah, 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 yeah. But mm-hmm. you've done a brewery tour? Yeah, I've done a couple around here. Yeah, 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 they're fun. Yeah, they're good. They'll get you drunk. <laughs> they probably will get you drunk. Work for them. I'm, I'm very like excited about this Boston trip, though. Yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about it next week. Taking your switch. Excited. What is that sharp inhale so, consideration? The thing is, he doesn't want to get me fun of. No, it's not that. Because <laughs> no. I already get made fun of. Look at me, a fucking ridiculous looking. <laughs> uh, no, just make that face. And, the uh, the thing that makes me want to bring it. Is does it uh rabbits come out that weekend? Uh, it comes out the 29th. Oh my god, is that so... this month? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, that comes out in two weeks. That boy, the 25th, isn't like the 25th or something like that? 29th, dude. This, oh, uh, I might not be in Boston then. This game, oh, well, then probably not. It probably comes right. back to that Tuesday. Oh, well, then yeah, I, I won't bring it then. No. I'm gonna be so broke. I, it's just, it's not because of like I don't want to take it with me, but. There's going to be so much, like mm. literally from the time they get off the plane, there's going to be no time to play it. And the plane rides only an hour, so it's not worth it. Yeah, that's, where you, that's where you take the DS. But yeah, I think I'm going to bring the 2DS with me. Smart. Mm-hmm. Smart, mm-hmm. smart, 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 smart. Yeah, I got a game plan. Not bad. Not bad. I'm excited. Yeah. Sounds All the sports good. are happening. All sports, sports are happening. That's true. Well, this is a podcast. Yes. Oh, no. Go ahead. I was just going to ask how you were. Just oh, thought, I'm good. Just, just thought that'd be fair. I'm. Oh, thanks. Uh, I don't care that much. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm broke. Yeah, That's joining. always fun. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. We got, um, we have a trip as well coming up to Marfa. Marfa? Marfa. What's, what's that? It's in Texas. Ooh. Yeah. It's in Texas. 
Marfa. Marfa. <laughs> is that a city? Yeah, it's a city uh, called Marfa. And when I've been asked why Marfa, the only answer I really have is that it started because there's a there's a building that Katie wanted to take a picture of. Uh, that's okay. where it started. There's a someone built a Prada store that's not actually a Prada store in the middle of the desert. And not that she doesn't give a fuck about Prada. She just thought it was dumb that there's a store in the middle of the desert. Thought it'd be <laughs> cool to go take a picture of it. Okay. So it's not like you, you build a whole trip just saying, well, we're going to fly out there and take a picture and leave. Like just because. Right. But that was one of the things where she went, That's a, that would be a weird place to go. Yeah. So then would. you start looking, well, what else is around Marfa? What else is happening? And it's like, oh, okay. Well, I see McConaughey's favorite burrito places out there. All right, cool. Find, is it really? Yeah. You should find <laughs> the exact location of where Hank Hill would live. So that too. Like, there's Did all you these, actually map that out? No, because Arlen isn't real. But <laughs> if it was. Right. But there's all these little things that, that kind of, I am, I'm going to see, I don't know where. Oh, you can find GameStop's headquarters. That's true. Uh, Ooh, but grapevine. better yet. Grapevine, Texas. Here's, I don't know how big Texas is. It's very big. Right. <laughs> it's a couple states. I, I do want to see if I could drive by the id building. Oh, is yeah. that, that's where the location They've moved, but the, yeah, they moved locations, but they used to be in this big old black box. I just imagine the id building has the guitar guy from Mad Max just hanging out outside, just playing guitar all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just chilling. That would be good. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but I, that has rendered me very, very mm. broke paying for plane tickets and all that stuff, especially like just one thing after another, man. At least you have dry heat. No, yeah. I'm humidity. excited about that. I haven't felt and the still hot. And it's still going to be hot. I, I know. You. I know that. I promise you. Oh yeah. It's going to be hot. But, but, but you'll feel like you can breathe a little more mm. and, uh, cheap movie tickets. Yeah. Um, when my brother lived in Texas, uh, $3. Holy Damn. Shit. I mean, maybe maybe things bumped up to four. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that that should be fun. But that's it's rendered me a little broke. It's been uh, I've been getting creative with meals. I've been cooking a lot more, but cooking a lot more effectively. Yeah. You know, and making things that I wouldn't normally make, which has been was fun. it? Oh, you know, it was Nevada, wasn't it? And Beavis and Butthead do America. Yeah. Where they were hallucinating. Uh, yeah, because it was when they stumbled out of Vegas. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of, of, of Mike Judge stuff mm. in that whole little area. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that um, a couple months from now. I know, I'm also looking forward to that trip, too. <sighs> I know. Going to make some, going to be hanging out in the house. I know. Making some, uh, some changes. Change? Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope. We're going to do things in particular. <laughs> nope. Yeah, Matt's going to watch the Pepperonis. Do you, need me, do you need me to watch Matt? Yeah, I think I need you to come by and watch Matt. Make sure he doesn't get rid of the Amiibo. <laughs> no, I'm looking at two things. Let's end the Wii U <laughs> and keep the Wii U intact. <laughs> Just start gluing everything. Out. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I'll work that shit out. <laughs> I'll take the whole shelf with me. But yeah, that'll be a fun trip. Planning on that now. Um, I'm really... <clears throat> mm. Yeah, thank you. It's that it's that grown up voice coming out. I'm really this is fucked up. But every time she says to me, "What are you excited to do?" Like when we go there, like, "Have you looked anything up?" And blah blah blah. I'm like, I can't wait to play my Switch on an airplane. <laughs> and I'm dead. Serious. Like that's the thing. I'm yeah. Because last time you you flew you in. You yeah, I didn't want to take anything to Puerto Rico yeah. when we went. I didn't. I just wanted to like go because we. I knew we'd be out all the time. You better come back with a Strickland propane shirt, or I'm going to be sorely disappointed. If I could find one. If I can, I'm yeah. sure there's one somewhere. Texas Longhorns. Yeah. <laughs> Is that who they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the university down there. Yep, you got it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all Hank Hill. I don't know anything but but Hank Hill. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, whatever. Life is life. Or bring or come back with a pocket full of sand, at least. Oh, oh I can pocket do full of sunshine. Oh, <laughs> damn. I could do I got two pockets. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I got four pockets, technically, plus that little weird one that's up top. So. Oh, yeah. Never, what is that for? Uh, was there an actual purpose for that? Drugs. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what would it be? So jeans were made for, for the working man. Was it for like nails or like loose screws or something? It must have been something like that. Could right? be. Hmm. I don't know what else it would be. Like Cause... a folded up dollar bill, like to yeah, snort with. I don't know. Deep enough for that. You see, jeans though, it, they, were they really for the working man? Because you can't really do the stretch unless you cut the, <laughs> you cut the pants legs off, like uh, you know Charlie style, and all of a sudden. No, 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 no. See, you're That'd thinking. Flexible. You're you see, you've already gone too too far. You're you're thinking modern jean man, where we wear them as fashion and they're skin tight, mm. which looks better on a, yeah, on a man's body. Of, like, styles. Classic jeans. They were they were wide cut, 
but you do a, a strong crouch, <laughs> real yeah. get real low to the ground, so you could you could work, you could do your work. I don't know what work this is, painting. They're known as a uh, relaxed. Mm-hmm. A relaxed fit. Plus, you might have a loose uh, loose seam. Mm. Plus, a lot of men used to buy their jeans. I think. Larger than their waist size. They buy a belt. Made belts necessary. Now, also, I wear a belt for fashion because it's fun. Be right? sure when you walk by um, any police down there. Yeah. Uh, have ice cream in your back pocket. Why so? Because apparently it's illegal. Oh, wait, oh, what? Yeah, that was like one of those weird old laws where like you would, it's illegal to have an ice cream in your back pocket. Those are so dumb. Like I love stupid fucking something. laws yeah. like that. Like I, I looked at ones in Baltimore. It was like you can't have a cardboard box on, the, on like a street corner. You just can't be carrying I, one. I no, like it, it, like, like it just can't be like just can't be there, mm-hmm. like in the way. I guess breaking the lo- breaking yeah. the wall. <laughs> I fully expect you to yell like, "Where's the bacon?" and just run. I fuck the cops. <laughs> what else was it? Like uh, like like oral sex is illegal apparently. Oral sex is illegal in a lot of places. Yeah, but yeah. it's just I was like that's dumb. <laughs> it's a, yeah. it's only like frowned upon on an airplane though. <laughs> <laughs> only if you get caught. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of how that stuff works. Usually, most things are frowned upon if you get caught. If you don't get caught, then <laughs> yeah. you just fucking do it. Um, that sounds like fun, though. We'll see. I, you know, I'm, I'm really. Ex- we fly back the morning that uh, Mario Odyssey comes back. So, is that this month too? No, no, no. This is October. This is October. Oh, yeah. I'm not going until. I keep thinking you're le- Wait. No, but I had to spend all the money right now. That's why I'm yeah, broke. You have to get a hotel. You just can't fly there and uh, sit in the car. Yeah. Holy crap! I'm keep. I'm thinking it's like. Now, and no. the ball guys are doing this or something. Nope, I'm no. going to Boston. Right, right. he's That's going it. soon. Yeah, but okay. Okay. that was paid for a long gotcha. back. Gotcha. The real cool thing is, I went grocery shopping last week. As I'm wandering through the store, nerd, they put Halloween candy out. Uh oh. Which I bought me a bag. It's gone. And they now. started already. But oh, I'm so fucking excited. Not in August. God uh, damn it. Why are you upset about this? I I, I don't want to rush to summer. There's still Fuck summer. No. Summer is the worst nope. season. The boat's still in the water. I do love a good boat. I would Baseball say still going. This isn't technically summer, but September is the worst part of it. Mm, I think August is the worst. See, I, I used to think that. And August I think I think August is part one of it. And then it bleeds into September. And because like, cause all of our seasons are, are shifted, you know, like we're supposed mm. to have them in like a three month thing or something. Yeah. And September is supposed to be like the start of fall or whatever. But like right before fall, it's like extremely humid and like yeah. always 90 degrees. And August is only like in the 80s mostly. And we get more rain in August. But for, I don't know. This I is think August, I, I still associate Not August with back to school, even though I haven't been in school in the 15 well, years. Well, they changed it now for us. What do you mean? We don't go back to school until after Labor Day. Yep. No shit. Yep. yep. That it starts this year. Oh, good for you, one. kids. They're lucky. Yeah. We used to have that shit when we were kids, right? Um, well, last, I don't know. No, like I, young. I, kids. I still remember uh, like being. Well, God, I, I remember going to school in August, know. like last week of it or something. When we got older, but I feel like when we were like six, seven, I somewhere can't in remember. that range. Uh, well, I, I, they they call me Memory Boy. It's my nickname. So I've never heard anybody call you. That. <laughs> my mom calls me that. It's just my mom. Well, okay. But <laughs> fuck summer. No, well, last year, I mean. It made sense to do it because last year, I think, like, three of the first five days, they couldn't go to school because it was too hot. Right, right, right. So, it yeah. makes sense to do it. September's okay. I don't hate September. I, I, I like the idea but, you of know, September. What they say, it, like, it does, it, it does have its moments. It, depending on where you're at, it does have its moments. It can be mostly good. But just recently, I have more bad than good. Mm. Just because I, I just feel like summer bled into September. Mm. And it's just like, what the hell is happening? Just kind of like, kinda like how like, like it snows in March or April. Like, what is happening? Get right, out of yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's delayed. Everything has shifted a, like a little bit. Hmm. You know, I'm just thinking about this. We're getting real close to November, and the joke is still alive. Oh, I know. We're almost there. I feel like it's on life support. It's not I on life support. I think it died. It's, no, 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 no. It is a vegetable. That shit's not dying. And I'll tell you why I know it didn't die. No? Because I turned into an acronym the other day. Did and you? And that, that, that gave some brand new life into it. <laughs> you you won't get back up. Right. Because he texted me you something. You won't get up inside. I don't know what he said. You but I responded to Matt with something, something GTN. And he went GTN. And I went, gone to November. <laughs> but now that's got a whole new. Because yep. oh, you, now you don't have to type it out. You just GTN. done. It's good stuff. I wonder if that's a website. Uh, it can be. G- you can buy it. GTN. GTN 5 coming to PCs this fall. This is a video game podcast about video <laughs> games. Uh, we start every podcast rambling. And then we move into a segment <laughs> called... Now playing, where we talk about what we played in the last week. I'm going to start us off. 
a little game called Hacknet. Oh, you getting you getting that itch? So I got an article that is currently in draft format. Um, I'm like I'm probably two thirds of the way writing what I want to write, and then I gotta go back and edit and pare down. And you whatnot. should post it only in code. Yeah, I know. Um, but that'll probably go up tonight. I'd like to finish it tonight. Um, but just kind of writing about because our, our cover story this month is all cross, right? So they're all about okay, when. So, sorry, I don't mean. No, no, no. The cover story is all about when two worlds collide, right? When when two things kind of come together. Yes, I made a Power Man five thousand. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've been you. making thank it you. all month. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. That makes me happy. Um, <laughs> and really, for me, the the article that that's going to go up is about kind of how video games and, and reality have kind of become one for me in the last little bit. And it all started when my computer fucked up episode 206. Oh, you're taking this deep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not going to spoil the whole article, but that's kind of where all this started. But in the end, it led to me playing Hacknet. And I've been playing a bunch of Hacknet lately. And that game is so good. It's really good. It's really good. you got to be the, the right kind of stupid to want to play it. But I, I've, I've had it for a while. I don't remember if I bought it on a sale or... I think I have it. I might have got it through a humble bundle, um, but it it's even still like it's ten bucks and it's it's really good. Um, and Matt played it I think in in like May or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, and I have like a fucking hair somewhere on me and I can't get it. Um, <laughs> oh, you got a bunch of them down. Oh no, yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, those those are the ones. Um, and like hearing you talk about it's one thing, but then actually doing it and feeling the the it's a it's a. You get this like sense of control that you don't have otherwise. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how to use a computer. Everybody knows how to use a computer, right? But do you know how to use a computer? But you don't really, <laughs> you don't really feel in control. You feel like on a surface level, you do, but not like. But it's not until you really start to get into this weird. You're shit. cutting it open. You're going on through the insides. Yeah, it's like you you know how to navigate it, but you really don't understand it. Yeah. And it's, I think it's you know it must be what it's like for a mechanic to really start to like take apart cars and know what it is to put them back together. It's that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And now again, I'm not saying that by playing Hacknet, I'm suddenly a master of fucking terminal. I'm the master. Of yeah, Matt. No, Matt's but, master, but, master, but you can definitely master. get a better idea and insight on what mm-hmm. it is to mess with that kind right, of stuff. Right. You get this thing again. It's the same thing. A few months ago, when Katie and I first learned how to make sushi, it was like, why the fuck do we spend fifteen dollars for this shit when we could spend fifteen dollars and make literally fifty dollars worth of sushi it, it, restaurant style um it, it's that kind of thing where you like you suddenly do it and you you see how the the sauce is made and you're like oh my god i can make the sauce and now like i can make anything's the fucking sauce. possible but the way they present it is really cool um and i think that if you if you do have the right the right brain for it it's it's approachable in a way that i don't think learning regular terminal commands and, and shell script stuff can be approachable but this you start the game you get an email from some dude and he's like hey if you're reading this i'm dead whatever um that sounds like a creepy pasta a little bit Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then you i forget i already forget what his first thing is but basically he says uh you know jump into this guy's computer if you can get in there you can get some useful stuff that'll help you along the way and slowly you get into a test server and if you can hack the test server then these people invite you to join their hacking group and you do some contracts through them for different hacking things and you work your way up until you're better and better master hacker. Mm. And you learn new, the, the game gradually teaches you new commands along the way and you can, you kind of just, you get into a rhythm where suddenly you, you're doing it without thinking. Like, and you kind of have to because certain computers as you break into their systems or even just probe the system to see what's going on, uh, a timer counts down and it, if you don't get out of there in time, your computer's no good. Um, so you kind of are forced to to get good and, and get really, really fast with it. And that's uh, that's the beauty of this game is the way it starts. Like, Because there is a user interface that you can use where you can use like a mouse and click around. Yeah, yeah. And like there is – it's super early on. It The game just says – Fuck you! Right. You're gonna learn how to use a terminal. Yeah, and like from that moment on, it's frustrating. Like that first, oh my god, that yeah. initial shutdown of your computer, very frustrating to There's try a, to navigate. Yeah. But it forces you the basics of terminal. And from that point on, like I really never clicked around the user interface that much. No, I stopped. And, and I, I the only thing I do I did was the little bottom, the where all the computers are. Oh, with the just, IP addresses, yeah. just because it's easier than yeah, exactly. the IP. Um, but yeah, there there was. 
Yeah. Uh, they're that moment where they're like, all right, guys, training wheels are off. And we're not, we're not giving you warning training wheels are off. The training wheels are fucking off. Can you, can you ride? Mm-hmm. And if you can't, fuck you. But if you can, it's going to feel really good. And the part Matt's talking about, like, there's a part where, and I think you talked about it back when we brought it up before, but you're playing the game and you're asked to uh, go hack this guy. Um, this guy broke into Macrosoft and stole, <laughs> uh, stole something from them. Or had claimed to stole, to steal something from them, and the hacker group that you're a part of is like, look, we don't need bad attention. We we have these tools that can do bad things, but we don't want to do bad things. Can you go into this guy's computer and delete the files he allegedly stole to stop him from being a dick and to stop giving us a bad name? And he's like, all right, cool. And you go in, and as you're in there removing the files, your email goes off, and you're like, hmm, what the fuck's that? And you check the email, and it's this guy, and he's just like, um, did you think I wouldn't? find out that it was you like fuck you you little shit and say goodbye to your to your operating system he deletes your operating system so your computer boots and the only option you have is to look at a log of the last string of commands that that kind of went in and out of your computer and then try and follow an ip address connect to that ip address and get the operating system back it's easy enough so you're like so that's like death stripping out the card of his powers. Yeah. And yeah. 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 It's exactly that. Um, but you have to do it all through specific commands instead of button presses. If I'm not mistaken, I, doesn't the game take it to the whole next level too? Doesn't the whole game turn off? Doesn't it make you reboot? No, it doesn't quit the app. It just, it, it shuts down. It makes it look like a PC shutdown, like blue screen, everything. Mm-hmm. And then it boots in and then it just, it's sitting there on a terminal window. I thought it went, maybe, I don't know. All right. Never mind. Um, but I, I kept fucking up because at that point, like you're, you've been playing it for a little while. So you know, your way around, you know how to like navigate through a file system at that point or, mm-hmm. or unless you've really just been relying on clicking and not so much the terminal. But fortunately I've been since fucking around with the computer a bit, I've been doing some of this terminal stuff anyway. And I've been able to kind of, I was naturally kind of doing some of these things without thinking about it. So I get in and I, I get to the guy's computer that dumped me and i figured i'd go right into his uh system folder get the server or the the, it's called the x server but that's the operating system back onto my computer and then i was going to delete it from his but every time i did it it said it didn't exist and i'm like what the fuck and i kept doing it so then i went through the whole string of the of the log of everything that i had done previously and i'm connecting to all these ip addresses and i'm getting to their folder where they've got their operating system and i'm trying to get it from them and it just keeps saying not doesn't exist i'm like what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong and it took me forever to realize that i i did the ls command which is list so it shows you the files that are in that directory i never cd just change directory to that so basically i was looking inside of the folder but not actually moving to the folder so it's like a little simple thing that's it it's all it was that's how, that's how it was with Zelda. right but one little thing yeah it's, but had I moved the, and that's what I ended up doing, yeah. CD, go to the right thing, then you download it, and then and you got it. But I went in, I deleted everything he's ever done. I just wiped his whole fucking system. He sent me an email that said, fuck you, and I wrote back, fuck you. Got an achievement for that. For just saying that back? Yeah. Is if it you, specifically that? Yeah, if you reply, fuck you, you get an achievement. Huh. Um, Did you know that beforehand? No, no, no. I just, I, awesome. I instinctively, I, like that. I, I texted Matt, I channeled my inner Matt, because it was that like yeah. online dirtbaggery. I, I, I just would have sent the number eight, a couple equal signs, and a capital D. <laughs> yeah, I think it, whatever he said, I, he had a specific thing that he said, but whatever it was, like my gut reaction was just to write back, fuck you. Um, and then he responds, fuck you too. And there's apparently a different tree you can go down where you mm. do something with him. I didn't fall down that one. This but. gives me a really good idea. Like, I know th- there's a couple games that might be summing to my idea, but like, like, there's that one game like Sarah is missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like you go through the phone to try to find out what happened and it's like, it's like haunted or whatever, some shit. Yeah. I would want a game like similar to that, but the game can call you. Like, for real. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, when you yeah. answer it, it's like an automated like, voice message of like some weird ghostly noise and if you don't answer it leaves a voicemail i feel like something did that the ring Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't remember no but there's uh but but it's not like but it's not like it, it's not in the game mode that's doing it it's like it calls your no i feel like there is something that calls your or, or or maybe you just brought this up before yeah. at some point. i don't know um, maybe 
But that, that but something about that sounds familiar. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know why it made me think of that. But <laughs> no, it's it's a, it'd be a cool weird because uh, this does feel Cause, really yeah. Because I, I look at that game, it, it feels submersive, and you or get immersive. Yeah, you submersive? get this like immersive. Immersive. immersive, immersive, immersive. Submersive is like if you're diving underwater. Um, <laughs> but you get this like really genuine like adrenaline rush as you're doing it. You're like you feel like you're actually a a hacker. And you're actually doing, you're That's breaking cool. into something. And like, I remember I, I was sitting on the couch and Katie was watching something and I'm playing it. And as I'm sitting there, I was like, I did something and I like, um, I like, I don't know. I had like a deep, like sigh of relief. I was like, oh shit. Like, oh, I fucking did it. And she was like, what'd you do? And I was like, hacked into something. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> but, but it feels like really, you feel like, ah, cause yeah. I, I'm like trying all this shit. It's like a puzzle I, game. Am I going to? How do I, it was like yeah. the first time, like there's different like levels you have to break through. You have to break through proxies and firewalls and you have mm -hmm. to uh, hack into different ports and you're given different tools to kind of do that, different executable I, files to run. I remember being in night school and hearing some dude, some like redneck dude threw me off completely just because of that stereotype. Um, talking about how he would spend his time in a garage with his friends and they would purposely tried to hack each other's computers oh, that's funny. and he made a virus that burns your motherboard or something like that what the fuck? And they would just do this to each other they would just like they would try to destroy each other's computers with viruses that's fucked where up. they would like overheat stuff and like whatever just like break it down to where like it's unrepairable and like it was i just didn't expect him to talk about this because <laughs> like he sounded like i'm not trying to be like match up with like, stereotypes again and all that but like he sounded pretty close to larry the cable guy like i know uh, like he had like no yeah yeah like like, 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 like in the terms that. of like he would be a good impersonator right, of, right. Of, of him specifically not just like country people and whatever <laughs> but yeah like, i, I wish just, i had that I, and i want to get to that point not but i can't believe I like, people just developing like viruses like that like that's crazy yeah i don't need to necessarily go that far mm -hmm. i mean but, well, well, that, that was leading my question of like yeah. Does it get to a point in that game where you would have to develop something like that to attack the other person? I think. I mean, you... I'm not going to answer just All right. to avoid any spoilers. But well, that's as far of... as I've experienced, it's kind of like it hits a point where it's like, "Hey, uh, welcome to our club." Like you keep ranking up and welcome and... to anonymous. Right. It's busy. <laughs> you kind of get there. Um, You're an activist. You, you keep like ranking up there, and they're like, uh, "Don't forget to check out our asset server for new." executables and you just kind of keep going and you get new tools and it's really straightforward um mm -hmm. it's not anything where whatever and yeah see like when you first when you first when you guys were talking about hacknet for some reason i didn't think there was like a narrative i yeah, thought it was yeah, just yeah. like hey do these couple tasks and it just kind of just gives you no, it, it's like a simulator really loose and f and like f and like free flowing in the beginning but yeah. it ends up kind of like bottlenecking towards the end and yeah i but... think you're starting to get there just yeah, a yeah, little yeah, bit. yeah yeah um yeah i didn't actually it's kind of interesting at the end uh, i'm curious to see where the it. story takes it but it, I, again it. like yeah I, I yeah i crushed it like that one weekend uh, yeah um I, I think it's just neat that a game can do this because there's there's so many i don't know like i know why i, I thought of that scary idea earlier when on what you're saying when i was growing up like the stuff just didn't it's not that it didn't interest me i just didn't know it existed Right. Yeah. By the time I, I realized that this was something you could do, I just didn't have time for it. Right. Like it wasn't my major, so I wasn't forced to do it for school. Mm. It wasn't even an elective thing I was doing, so I wasn't forced to do it for school. And then you spend your time doing other things and to, to try and jump back into this is just whatever. Like the only reason I learned Russian when I was in my twenties is because I had to take it for a college class. It's cool, but I never would have learned Russian on my own. Just like now, like I kinda think it'd be cool to learn Japanese, but I'm never gonna take the time to learn Japanese. My friend was um she was she was going to school for that because she wanted to be a translator. Yeah. And even even still, like I didn't realize how many different types of Japanese you would have to learn because it's written oh, so yeah, many different a, styles yeah, and all that. Yeah, there's and then, three like, different written languages. Yeah, but she, I think she also did uh, Chinese as well. Yeah, which is there's two and different. It's like wow, it's traditional and simplified. Yeah, it's, yeah. But again, like I wouldn't. It's still cool though. I mean, like I wanted neat, like I, I, I wanted to, to learn uh, Polish. But but you never will unless you're forced to, and that's the thing. I for this, yeah, it's always saw how to say happy birthday, and I stopped. Yeah, that's all you need to know, right? Like I can say <laughs> yes in Japanese. Hi, that that's all I ever need to know. I don't need to know anything else. Happy and now with technology, like I can use my phone to fucking do all of that, right? Yeah. But this, I never would have learned this had it not been 
one, we were kind of forced to that night. Like we had to, we were, we were yeah. throwing Hail Marys at the end to try and get the computer to, to save that file. But two, now playing this game, I'm kind of like, it's, it's scratching an itch. I didn't know I needed scratched mm-hmm. and it's making me want to learn this stuff. And I don't know how far I'll continue with it, but it's definitely, it's like a new language. Yeah. And, and you, I, I like that there's a game that's able to, to give me that because mm-hmm. games can do so many things and they're, you know, I think largely for a lot of, a lot of time it's educational or not educational. It's, it's, that's what I'm getting at. It's, it's uh, entertainment, right? And, mm-hmm. and you're entertained by it, and, and that's kind of it. You might get a, a cool story. You might get a cool gameplay element. And it's something that we do, that we interact with, that we just enjoy as a pastime. Even if it has a deeper impact than just that, in that's, that that's one thing. But it's so rarely is there something outside of when we were kids that was an educational experience like this. Like this is teaching me a new skill that I can use outside of a game. Within a game, there's there's things like narrative mm-hmm. that I can follow and I can learn and I can feel and I can change and and I might change my way of thinking because of the way I felt about a thing, but I'm not changing my way of thinking because I'm literally being reprogrammed like I am with this. Like this yeah. is that's what I like about puzzle games. Yeah, this has that puzzle element to it where like I feel different parts of my brain working that I've never felt working before. I don't know if you got that or not, but it was yeah. it, like and it, it's it's like open something else. And yeah, it's a weird. Again, I don't know how far I'll take it, but it's definitely like there's a good swirl. Happening. I played. I I got to the point with that game where I fr- I think I crushed it all in like one weekend. It was or at least the overall majority majority of it. And um, I know you text or you texted me the other day. You said you were playing, and you're like, and I was like, oh man, I should get around to that sequel. And oh man, me too. I got to a point with that game where when it ended, I was mm. like, I'm glad it ended because mm. I, I think if another hour would have came, I would have been like fried and done with the game. So that's why, like, you getting back into this is kind of like, so oh, it's like a well. digestible game. It's not, like, really long. Yeah, and then, like, like what's the average, like, hour completion? Uh, I mean, I looked at his to, to give me an idea. And, and Whatever mine was. Matt I... beat it in nine hours. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So that's, the, that's, that's pretty decent, actually. And the one thing I ended up doing was I hit a point where, because you have all these contracts available that you can go chase down. I hit a point where I said, cause, and they treat it like, you know, hey, jump into a contract and, and whatever. And I went, you know what? I'm going to pace this because I could feel that that potential for burning myself out on it. So I I thought of it as and also like my computer really struggles when I'm running it because you already know my hard drive issues and, and whatever. But um, poor thing. I know. But I figured treat this like like I am the character in the game and I'm, I am hacking. Right. Like I'm not going to spend all day hacking. Did I got see, other shit to do. See, see Kung Fury. Kung Fury, Kung Fury. Kung Fury. The, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just Hacker Man. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> um, but if I dive into it, you know, mm. today, I'll, later tonight, I'll dive in and I'll do one or two contracts. And tomorrow I'll do a few more. Like, pacing it out like that, I think, is going to help me in the long term. But, man, what a fucking fun game. I just can show you a neat hacking trick uh, mm. during a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see it. I'm learning. I want to learn them all now. But now I know. But again, like if there were a gamified way or something like that to teach me an actual language, mm-hmm. I feel like that would get me going a little bit more. Like I, I don't know that, and I've tried. Like I've, 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 got, I've had friends who've done that as their majors, and they've, I've been like, dude, I want to do this, and they've sent me like all their college lectures, and I'm like, cool, let's dive in on C plus plus, and like, eh, I don't give a fuck, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I, and I understand the logic behind it right mm-hmm. and like that's that's part of that's half the battle is being able to understand the simple yeah i think my only experience is nothing like that it's like hey how do i alter my uh myspace page to have these cool themes and like you know, i'm trying to understand all that code right, and right, right, copy right. and paste and but even uh, that has does a has a degree and to like, it. like rpg maker yeah and breaking breaking that down and altering stuff and it's... like i figured out how to throw in a video for a cutscene. yeah but those things are are <laughs> That's the start of it, right? Yeah. Like that that gets you going. It's a gateway. Um. Yeah. Hacknet. 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 And then I took my my uh, master hacker skills. Downloaded the shareware version of Doom, straight from uh, ID's GitHub because they still host it, which is <laughs> fucking dope. That's um, cool. Yeah, and like you have to call the 1-800 number to get that. I don't know if that still works, but I, maybe. Um, and that one, really cool. Like, not only am I playing Doom for the first time, really, like, I, every other time I've played Doom, the classic Doom, 
it was like a console port with a controller. I'd play it for five, 20 minutes and walk away. Do like the first level and, and that's it. This, I'm like full on mouse, keyboard. And again, like downloaded the original shareware version. It feels like... Was was the original controls just a keyboard? <sighs> Directions with one, like the arrow keys and like... I think it was... Because a couple games were like that back then. I think it was because the default controls, I had to remap it so the mouse was usable. Yeah, because I, I can't I, remember. Because I only do my played was like Brutal Doom, like the mod. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I use the mouse yeah, for yeah, that, yeah. but like, that's so... I love that. But it, it's been <laughs> fun doing it. And like, that was something where it, reading Masters of Doom back in, in April, May, whatever, May, um, like reading through that and reading what they did to launch that game and get it uploaded to their servers and all the weird like IRC chats and things that were happening mm-hmm. where people were talking about it. Like, I felt like, obviously you can't go back to that impossible, but I felt like I was getting a piece of that that I never would have otherwise got. I feel like you would appreciate a lot of the games that are on GOG. Probably because they have like a lot of like DOS games you can now just download DRM free and yeah yeah that kind of stuff it's and they're fairly cheap or free yeah <laughs> yeah there's a lot that I don't I don't know how far I'll go with this but it's definitely yeah. a a cool weird thing to kind of open up but Doom's real good riding a sine wave I got real far mm-hmm. in Doom like further than I've ever been in in that game to a point where it's like fucking hard yeah it's hard yeah that game's really hard yeah monster closets. But yeah, that's that's mostly everything I've been playing. I played uh, a little game called Hitman with you two folks. I don't know what that is. Oh man, I think you're missing part of that title. Oh man. Oh right. Yeah, we have a new video series, Hitman with a Hammer. There it is. I know that. Um, one. <laughs> episode one is up. You you can go watch that. Cool two hours floating through Jamie Foxx's boat party, killing Colonel Sanders. What a sad boat. Yeah. Speaking of Colonel Sanders, I I got the it's one part of Hacknet. Got the eleven secret herbs and spices. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a fun mission. <laughs> Gonna hack into KFC's website. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> pretty fucking cool. There were that it was just yeah that game's got a, a weird sense of humor that I enjoy. Even like going through people's personal emails oh, yeah. and shit and like reading. That's what I liked about a uh, creepy castle. You would find uh, diaries. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. sometimes there's a QR code. Mm. And if you scan it, then you'll get like this little message. Dumb. Yeah, that yeah, just this relates is, to it. All. Stupid shit. But yeah, Hitman. Um, we finally, finally went in, and that game is at least at the time of this words coming out of my mouth still on sale. PlayStation, you can get the whole season for like twenty three bucks. When does it sell in? Tomorrow. Probably, yeah. Tomorrow oh, okay. Tuesday. Yeah. Glad Tuesday. Got a game Tuesday the <clears throat> Tuesday the fifteenth. Whenever the PlayStation Store updates, hmm. when you go there to buy your Sonic Manias. Oh, yeah. Um, Matt, it's the last chance to buy Hitman. But yeah, I bought it, so we'll be playing Paris pretty soon. But last, the the episode that's up, we did Boat Party, and just, that game's too much, too much fun. I think we all attacked it from different angles. <laughs> sure, I'd say that. <laughs> yeah. It, um, was, it was definitely a better run than the, the previous one, I think. Yeah, but I'm looking forward <laughs> to seeing Paris. Like that, I feel like we... We went through those prologue levels. Yeah, I'm really done staring at drywall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this will be a real <laughs> live breathing city and, and environment. Yeah, I need some need some nice colors and And there's there seems to be a lot of different options. I, I, it's yeah. just big. It's the map just bigger. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a plus. It's gonna be harder because of that too. But I, what, I I need to know if there's a hammer in every level though. Because I, I don't have there confirmation. Better be. oh, we'll find I a feel hammer. Like don't worry. Is. All right. Don't worry. Although the fire extinguisher makes for a good substitute hammer. I just love the way it just sticks to someone's face. <laughs> that that at the over the head animation too is such a good If nothing else, that game has fantastic. And I can't believe they're animation. not deadly. Not yeah, you hit somebody hard enough with a fucking you're hammer. De- no, you're dead. That's brain damage. You're not Nah. He's cool. He's right to the concussed. temple. Just... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the animation's good. Like, I'm just so used to throwing like a soccer ball from the sidelines, and like you can like throw a mm. soccer ball so fast over your head. And that, like, it's the same windup, but then all of a sudden, like the game, like the animation speed of his hands, and then the thing you just need, like, just takes off. But you're talking about yourself. You're not talking about a professionally trained assassin who probably has some good upper body strength. And can um, I've seen a professional fire. soccer player throw a soccer ball. They're not, not a professional hitman. <laughs> you're a professional hitman. You are yeah, trained to huck some shit. And, like yeah, you, you just don't need move a... your arms when shimmy by walls. 
You need you need to find like a gorilla costume and then throw stuff like that. Do they have a gorilla costume in this game? Well, looks like we're gonna have to oh, find one. Oh man, that'd be fun. But that's everything I played. I don't, we don't go watch the Hitman thing. There's not much to say about it other yeah. than it's fun and stupid and whatever. But uh, Mark, what you been playing? Uh, kind of uh, dipped in a little couple things. I didn't really spend too much time in a lot of stuff. Um, sadly, I well first I was really thinking about getting back into Zelda. Mm. There was an update recently. I yes. don't know why. Yeah, I saw that. What but it I don't pertains? Know. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Um, but I, I'm, I think I'm at the point where I'm done like bitching. I'm done complaining, and I think I just need to just shut up and just finish it, play it, just to get it out of the way. At this point, um, but I realized that I only want to play it docked. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because That's... whenever, because handheld just doesn't feel grand to me. For that kind of game, and that's a kind of game where like I want to sit and be comfy, yeah, and do. just have a big screen in front of me. Yeah, I mean like yeah, because I mean the Ocarina of Time was fine on 3DS, but I also already played that game like seven million times before on an actual TV, so maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I think at this point I don't want to play handheld. Like I don't want to play every game handheld. I like that I have that option, but some games are just better on a bigger screen. Yeah, the only time I played that game handheld was out of necessity. Or, yeah. or like, and, and the only, I did it when I was just, like, wandering. Like, if I was trying to yeah. get specific materials like, to change my clothes or, or and, that and, kind of And, stuff. like, the way, like, my stuff is set up. Yeah. Um, Right now, it's just a PS4 hooked up to my monitor. Mm-hmm. And there's only one US, I mean, HDMI slot. So, it's like, I would have to switch between the dock and that. And my dock is not set up right now because everything's in a bag. And I'm just, like... I'm being really lazy about it. it sounds like Get it. yourself just, an HDMI switcher. That's what I have. I guess I should invest in that. Or true. I also just want to get a better, just actual TV with more than one mm. slot. And that's it. an option mm. too. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So since I did not play that, um, I tried Bomberman a little bit. Yeah. Um, How's that one been? I keep looking at that like I should buy it. Uh, I guess story mode is a little easier. Um, but I like that I can switch my character whenever so i'm pyramid head and you do that on the fly or uh, it's like whenever you turn off the game and turn it back on oh. and you go to like start the campaign it you can choose who you want to be now i like it um it does feel slightly easier everything feels a little smoother yeah um i'm still dying because i'm just being reckless but it's like i'm just blowing myself up because all my stats are like freaking maxed out i'm super fast and my explosions reach like fi- like 500 yards in every direction uh but then I was just like, eh. Like, I've been in that mood where it's just like, I just get so, I feel like I'm so exhausted that I want to play a game with the least amount of effort as possible. So I'm just like, what are some, like, casual games, I guess? So, like, yeah. I downloaded Plants vs. Zombies again. Oh. All right. And then, like, I haven't played that in a while. And I want to play the second one. never played it. Um, that one wasn't, didn't that one get all fucked up? Did it? I think it was just the free to play stigma one. Yeah, well, the free to it wasn't the stigma. It was like they actually put bad hooks into that game to, uh, with the free to play stuff. Like it wasn't just that it. I didn't know. Like like the gameplay got fucked. Like you you could only play so much before you were gated to uh, either buy something uh-huh. or wait twenty four. Like that was what I remember it being. So I just played like the tutorial stuff for a bit, like the first couple of levels, and I was just like, eh, I you know what, this is too slow for me now. Yeah. I just wasn't feeling it, so now I stopped playing that. But I bought. Uh, I think it's pronounced Ease. Oh, Ease or Ease? Yeah, Ease Origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On PlayStation, it was twelve bucks for a sale. Um, I played a demo on Steam, and that's just like that is. I want more games like that. They're just JRPG ass RPGs, right? It's more like uh, but it's like intense high action. It's not turn based fighting at all. You are dungeon crawling, and everything looks like a PS1 game, like era, where it's like your sprites in a 3D setting. Uh, so, oh, so like Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. I guess. Is that sprite based? <laughs> no, I just wanted no. to make Matt do that face because yeah. he does it every single time. But like, there's um, but but it's basically just like a hack and slash, but you do level up. That's cool. But it, and you have two characters you can choose to play as. You can be like this uh, male wizard who have like these, you have these two orbs, and you just shoot everything. Pretty, it's almost like a bullet hell. At, but you're the one only you're the one shooting bullets mostly mm. <laughs> at all the enemies, or you can be like this girl with an axe. And so I switched to being her. I tried out both characters. 
bit. You're just running around, climbing this tower. You're fighting demons and stuff. And every time you go in and out of levels, uh, the enemies will respawn. So you you grind for like experience and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, just like, yeah, like it's it's weird. You're like these two goddesses that like protected this planet were like something happened to them and they disappeared. And I think they were captured inside of this tower that like that like these demons made. So you're like going in trying to find them. That's basically the premise of it. Um, but yeah, I was like, man, I would really love a Zelda game like this. Oh yeah. Like I could imagine, like, like if a Link to the Past was remade, to be a little more hardcore and like intense with like fighting and just like you can't block at all. There's no block button, at least not yet. Um, so like, and then you can't really upgrade your strength unless like you get some specific item and like a creature will do it for you. Mm-hmm. But you can always upgrade your armor and your defense. So that's a little strange, but uh. Yeah, just like figuring out all these different combos, like you can just you can jump, like it's it's very uh, it's simple, I guess in that regard. It's simple yet really difficult, but like it's a fun challenge, and like the boss fights are really cool too. Like I had to like, climb on top of an enemy after hitting his face so many times to stun him, and like part of his brain opened up, and I just like went to town on it. This is origin you're talking about? Yeah, nice. But I, yeah, I really love the the style of it. I really like the whole like um, isometric sprites, and just like a polygon 3D. I, I was talking to Sandeep recently about that kind of like weird. Um, it has to like that weird like PS One vibe that like yeah, I never yeah. really really got to experience as a kid. Yeah. So I feel like I don't know. It's we, no, it's we were cool. both feeling pretty nostalgic for uh, low poly. Yeah, I love yeah, low poly. Yeah. It's okay. like that's I think I think that's that's a dying art. Yeah. One you know, man, Shuffle Knight Two, come on. Mm. Take it to PS One. I just I, I like really nice design textures on. Just like really basic shapes. Yeah, I, make I yeah I, I get that itch to go back and and fuck around with PS One stuff. Mm. Real heavy sometimes. Or if it's just barely plain colors and it's done right, like uh, like Mega Man Legends or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, so I, I played played a bit of that. I think I sunk about maybe three or four hours. Yeah. Not it's bad. Pre- pre- pretty fast paced. I like that a lot. Um, other than that, uh, not 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 too much. I, I tried the Metopia demo. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed for? Um, I mean, it's 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 a more refined find me. I feel like uh, I uh, like it. Yeah. But I think I want to restart <clears throat> the demo so I can have my choices carry over to the main game if I ever decide to buy it. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I I went through all the classes and I decided to be a chef. Smart. And then I picked my first partner. Now, like, you don't. It doesn't have to be just the meats that you have in your system. It can be from the meat plaza. Or from any oh, people that you, oh, okay. um, any people that you've spot passed. Cool. So, of course, everybody contributed to the Me Plaza, and you right. can, anybody you you want is there. Oh, Hank man. Hill. Yeah. Squid, Squid Girls, whatever, like Perfect. you name it. Um. But my first partner was Isabel. Of course, of course <laughs> it was. And then, like, if you want to build the relationships of them. Of like just have like a stronger just so they can help each other out later um when it comes to like an inn you can either have them sleep in separate rooms or in the same room the same room will boost that um connection between them mm-hmm. and i i accidentally made uh isabel and i be in different rooms mm. and it auto saved so i can't fix that oh yeah, yeah. you're gonna have to fix so that. i want to fix that yeah yeah delete that save mm. get back in there <laughs> i was almost a pop star but, like, I didn't like the guy's outfit. I could have worn a girl's outfit, too, I guess. But the guy's outfit was just, like, fedora. Yeah. Which I guess I could have kept. A little Jason no. Mraz and you. Vest. Oof. Vest and, like, pants. But it was all, like, leathery, shiny looking. And my color's white. So, like, everything is just, like, very, like, Michael Jackson-esque looking. <laughs> but it's fine. Like, but I guess I was expecting goofier than that. It didn't seem that goofy to me. Yeah. So, the chef's fine. Huh. Not bad. Now you're Emma Lagasse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Ah. <sighs> Guy Fury, what? Flavor Town, what? I don't know. We're rolling out. <laughs> Man, it's just like the usual, like, Friday the 13th, Overwatch. Friend fun. Yep. Matthew? Oh, God, the exact opposite for me. Yeah? I played hardly nothing. Dang, really? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been a little busy bee. Going going places, exploring the world. That's seeing good. Seeing horses for the first time. <laughs> uh, In my little bit of time. What's I've, your favorite horse? I don't even know. All right. Sorry. I'll have attention. another. All right. That's the name of a racing horse. That was in the Kentucky Derby. 
Oh, I, didn't, I had no idea. I thought you that were. That was like a couple years ago. No, that's not bigger. You just lost when I said that. But I'll have another. You know, the correct that's answer. I, that's what I thought you yeah, were talking about. Yeah. It's just, I'm going to stop recording and go get in it. <laughs> go ahead. Yes. Uh, in the spare time I have played, I played a little bit more baseball, you know, racking up that hour count and uh, Rocket League. But that 2DS just keeps sticking around, man. Uh, I'm real happy to hear that. Yeah. Uh, I went, not 3DS, though, DS, mm-hmm. Castlevania. Mm-hmm. Nice. On a sorrow. Uh, it's probably my gateway. That's been the thing that I've kind of just stayed on, the 2DS, and that's, uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. Um, How far are you? Uh, I beat two bosses, like the two, okay. what's it, the two like, guys. Um, oh, two I guys. Forget their name. I forget their names. Uh, it's, you, they're part of the narrative. It's the, oh, the, dude, I the, forget, the, the, the fire guy. Yeah, like the red I, I'm hair and um blanking like, on their and, and like the blonde dude now. with the dumb haircut. Yeah, like this chick that's evil mm-hmm. has the two apprentices that want to be Dracula. Yep. I beat and kind of killed the first one. Yeah, and then the second one I defeated, but he ran away or whatever. Yeah, you'll and yeah. that's um yeah I've been progressing. Man, I freaking love the fact that that map is right on the top screen, so I just see it just on the top or bottom. It's, it's top, top. Uh, because you have to use the bottom to do the seal. Ugh. Uh, that's yeah, a okay. fucking nightmare and where's gameplay happen bottom yeah bottom, bottom too because okay. when you're fighting the boss it'll just pop up over the ball yeah, okay, and then okay, there's okay, little okay. mechanics like the like the ice scraping you have to do oh yeah, yeah that's a fucking thing mm-hmm. so i have discovered my grip on how to hold the stylus <laughs> and the ds at the same you time you won't have to do that with any other game in that on the oh, ds perfect because it's not a good grip <laughs> um but yeah no it's it's really fun it's this cat it's kind of scratching that metroidvania itch i've had recently mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. especially after seeing the symphony of night sgdq stuff yeah that stuff got me back like, yeah at least close to flavor town not all the way there <laughs> but but yeah like i i've this is now my my third castlevania game that's like that yeah uh i've made very little progress in dracula's curse uh but no i really like this this going back and forth with the map uh, I'm in the spot now where I didn't explore it too much, so I'm not fully understanding the puzzle, but okay. there's numbered rooms and they're in different parts. And like the first room is a map of all the numbers. And I think you can slide them a- around to make them go places. Mm. I, I saw it one I time think, I, think I so. was in a car and I realized that I can't play this DS while in a car or I have a bar fall over it. It's hard to do that while you're driving. Yeah. Well, I wasn't driving. <laughs> oh, God. This, is, yeah. this is on the way to my mom's birthday party. Yeah. Got it. So okay. yeah. Um, really got motion sickness. I I I I know I can't read in the car. No shit. So I tried to, to can't do that either. To do some some DSing and it was just Castlevania. Is, I feel like there's a lot and there's a lot of twitch movement. So I really yeah, have to concentrate. Yeah, you, you do have to focus on that. So like something. Um, what did I play a lot of in on on the Vita when I was going to the Capitals games. I played a lot of Dang and Rampa, and yes, that mm. seems like a lot of reading, but it's really not. Mm. And it's not something like he also did a lot of um, what's that game? Uh, the dungeon one. Oh, darkest, darkest dungeon. dungeon. Darkest dungeon. Yeah, I played that a little bit on Vita. I mostly played that on PS4 though. I can't believe I forgot that name. Yeah, that's a good game. I should get back to that. But yeah, anyway, uh, Dawn of Sorrow though, it's yeah, it's just scratching that itch. Mm. I just want Samus Returns though now. <laughs> really. Yeah story-wise is it like cool to see it continue from game to game that's the thing that always attracted me to it obviously I, the gameplay is the. i mean it's i kind of forgot the, the I story they, of they are, yeah. the what was the other one that got uh, aria of sorrow yeah. and uh yeah it kind of it was nice to see it pick off i'm playing as the same character but like because uh, yeah I'm that usually paying. doesn't happen in, does in aria have multiple endings probably they I all remember. They, uh, what's his face? Igarashi always yeah. fucked with that kind of stuff. Because uh, Dawn does. Yeah. Okay. I think it's but. only like two or three though. It's nothing crazy like twenty six. But well, yeah, not everything can be <laughs> near all time. Yeah, though. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Matt earlier, clock's ticking, boys. It is. It is. We're getting close to that game oh, of the year talk. Fuck. There's so much stuff coming out too. I'm sorry. Mm. All right, well, yeah. We'll make the commitment. We'll make the reverse commitment. I feel like once I play the game, I have to sacrifice other games that I won't be able to play in time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to – I got to I gotta go through Horizon at some point. So mm-hmm. I'll do that when you do the other one. Maybe October. Maybe that's – I don't know. 
maybe September. What's coming out in September? Nothing's in September, right? Waking up in September. <laughs> <laughs> Second reference this podcast. Mm. And we're not in, in September yet. That's, yeah, uh, man. GTN. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I I'm I'm just enjoying this. It, it just makes me want Samus Returns, which is the whole reason I feel like I bought this 2DS. I just want to get another world that's like a Metroidvania. Speaking of uh, that, I don't know if this is going to come up in show and tell at all. I think I know where you're going, but oh, I think it 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 is. Okay, I'll save it then. Okay, all right, I'll, yeah, I'll save it. I have a question it, uh, about are, something. Are you uh yeah? Were you uh you're going to change the segment to a little bit of uh, what were you watching? <laughs> Uh, oh no, that's not what's coming up in show and tell. I'm you were talking about Metroid, yeah. yeah. So I was gonna bring up something that was announced. Oh, what the amiibo? No, 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 no. A thing, a physical thing. Oh no, okay, that's not what I was thinking of either. I have news that's related to that too. That's different. I, I, I maybe I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Fuck show and tell if, if you guys have it. Then the they announced a new um Samus themed 3ds XL. Oh yeah, I did see this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just didn't. Yeah. I don't want to spoil your guys' show and tell if that's what you're gonna no. do later. Nope, that was not my thing. Great. So they announced that. Now, being the person at the table who primarily bought a <laughs> new 2DS XL just for the Samus game, does it suck that it sucks a little bit? Yeah. Two weeks later, after yeah. you bought the fucking thing, they go, "Oh, here's one coming out for exactly this game that yeah. you." I think I put in the thing. I was like, "What do you think the retail value yeah. of my 2DS?" I, 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 I showed my other friend Joe, and he was like. So, uh, you in the market for a 3DS XL? I'm like, nope. Yeah, I mean... Because <laughs> he still has, like, the old Monster Hunter one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. But I'm not... If I really hated the color palette that came out in America, I mm. think I'd be more upset. But I do like that black. And, the black with blue is good. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not totally mad. You see, that, that's, a, that's always my little fear with, like, having a game-themed, like, system. Mm. I'm afraid that if I get burnt down on a game, I don't want to look at it anymore. I agree. And you could burn out on Metroid at one point and like just tired of seeing Samus or those colors and like you just really want a little bit of basic, you know? And yeah. I mean, granted, like I have my like, you know, Kiki Slider DS, but the, but though, the plates the can change you got, on that. Yeah, that one you can, you yeah. can swap things out. Mm. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's all I got around to. Part of my running around this week was coming to your house to play a little Shovel Knight. We did do that. Um, How are you think, liking that? That's good. Solid, solid I feel platformer. Like, I feel like that's a... It's a solid platformer. You should watch all the parts. <laughs> You'll get all my feelings there. You'll get, you'll get some fun stuff uh, later this week, Friday, part four, when that I'll, goes up. Yeah, I'll I'll say, uh, dirt. You give the most unique uh, reaction to this game that I've seen so far. That's true. I've never seen anyone quite yeah. respond to it that way. Mm. Surprising. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Your face. You like Shovel Knight, though? Oh, yeah. It's fun to play you're... at times. You are how many how many stages in now? It looked like four. four. I think four in, but there's you beat the whole first section, I think. Yeah, you got yeah, through the I first chunk. That. Yeah, yeah, saw, yeah. Saw yeah. um, because I saw you saw the other two to do, and you picked one out of the three in that section. And you'll do those, and then there's gonna be th- yeah, yeah. You got still got a little. You're not quite halfway, but you're you're close. I'm getting there. Yeah, but what you did was one of the more stressful levels too. It, yeah, it is. Oh, I don't know that that level where things were going dark. I that was screaming. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you, Specter Knights is a little stressful, but I think to me the most stressful was uh, Plague Knights was probably was pretty stressful. Don't tell right, him cool. that he hasn't done that one yet. That's, that's, that's I mean that, that's that, that's me. You might have a better like like you might have a better Ooh. day with it than me. All I know is I'm gonna have uh, an Amazon at Bidu controller in my shopping cart, so that way I just have to hit buy as on Prime. Mine. Yeah, my, uh, throw bad. it against the wall. You're playing the uh, which version? Is a Switch. Switch, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Right. You can use this controller. Yeah, I would not use Joy Con. No. Why don't you just use a Pro controller? I'm not the biggest fan of that D-pad. I think really? I found out, yeah. and I'm not the only one. I've been listening to a couple podcasts where huh. I found that out with Tetris. Yeah. And the the, the more I kind of hear that people don't like it, I think it might not just be be in Tetris. That's weird. It's it's. Only, I haven't it's, played Shovel Knight with it though, so I think might that be might next, be the let's next one. Try it next one. time. I like it. But it, what was happening with uh, Tetris was a lot of accidental auto drops or quick drops. I would s- as you're moving right, it was pushing up. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'd have that trouble with the joystick, but never with the D-pad. It's something about that program. I don't know. 
Because I did a lot better with the Joy-Con. And that's why I started right, right, Shovel Knight right. with initially. But it just... It I, I need a right rolling. Way. Yeah, I need a roll. Yeah. Huh. Cool. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll do a little show and tell. And get out of here. Cool. All right. Welcome back to the Free Cheese episode 210. It's time for show and tell. Weekly segment where we find neat things on the internet and bring them here and talk about them. Mark. Yeah. Sup. So earlier, uh, you might have heard me mention that I had kind of some news related to Metroid. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. So I found this out. I think uh, it might have been yesterday or two days ago. I I, I didn't know, but um. So, you remember the what's it called AM two R? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, that got shut down. Mm-hmm. And whatever. Um, well, there was there's some good coming out of that. Oh, good, you say? Yeah. So the the creator of that of that mod game, whatever. Yeah. Um, got a job offer at Nintendo. No. Oh. Uh, Microsoft. Oh. Or whatever company is working on Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Oh, Half Moon. Half Moon. Oh, that's dope. Hired him as a level designer. That's really cool. Um, they apparently gave him a test yeah. to run through like they do with everybody. Yeah. And the person they hired for the first game before was watching that and immediately in the middle of it told them to hire the people that do the hiring to hire him immediately because they knew exactly – like, hmm. like the guy knew what he was doing and exactly what they were looking for. That's really cool. So now, uh, yeah, he's um, his his work showed through. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, that doesn't always happen when no. people like make games like that. Like that doesn't give you a surefire guarantee to get a job, but mm-hmm. like it's cool to get that kind of recognition. And like it doesn't. It's not all like. It's not all like not all hope is lost with that. I think best case scenario and stuff like that is always like you meet somebody else in that community that did something similar and you guys end up making something together. But to have a studio extend its hand and say like, well, show us what you got, kid. Yeah, because I mean, those games are like a Metroidvania already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was right up his alley. That's really fucking cool. Yeah. I really... I I feel like Nintendo should have hired him. Yeah. That would have been poetic. Yeah, there's there's (laughs) something... There's another story like that where I wish it ended in Nintendo hiring somebody, but... I think there was there was something similar to that too, where like somebody got hired and now they're whatever. But uh, or they usually get those cases of like hackers, for example. Yeah, they get hired yeah. to be uh security. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, like they get tested to like see if they can break through their well, stuff. There is a lot of that to go back to the Doom stuff. Like, um, there were a lot of people that got hired at ID because they were hacking, not in the bad way of hacking. Like hacking has a real negative connotation to it, even though it's meant to be just manipulating code in a different way yeah um there were a lot of people who were part of the um hacking community with wolfenstein and doom that were like doing their own levels and their own stuff in multiplayer and it hired them to be level designers on doom 2 and and later on quake and things like that like american mcgee i think started out as uh like a hacker for doom a couple of them maybe again masters of doom yeah has a lot of (laughs) stuff in there but yeah it's dope yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not much, but I just, I... That's a cool little story. Like Matt, you want to depress me? Depress you? Oh, God. All right, so you, st- you said this segment is about finding nuggets on the internet. Mm. I found a nugget on the internet. Oh, did I you? I washed a nugget on the uh, internet. Yep. Me and about 20 million other people. Oh, God, that's sad. Oh, I know you guys were one of them. Mm. Nope. Oh, I, please tell me. Mm, oh, you guys I, tuned in for 10 I, minutes. I did not. Mm. Oh, well, your IP address got hit. Great. Your, Great. Your, your your Wi-Fi pinged it, so don't worry. Fantastic. The International mm. TI7. Mm. Yes. It's finished up this weekend, the main event. You know what weekend. the best news came out of that was? What is over? We don't have to fucking hear you talk about it for another year. Well, or it's oh, now God. playing next week going to be riddled with it. Ugh, I don't, I don't. Oh, man. I got the itch, boys. Did we go play that game again? That's, mm. that's what it took. No, seriously, though. It was actually for, like... For esports and mm-hmm. a Twitch production, 
actually valve didn't do that bad of a job it was i mean it was awkward in some parts yeah. but i thought it was actually well produced they had like if the they weren't interviewing like awkward 17 year old kids which i can relate to i'm not sitting here saying that you know i i would be a good interview but at least like the production value was there just at the interview kind of carried some weight and they had some like filler to do between matches and stuff like that and they had like panels with people i assume we're talking sense because hmm. they're talking like a, a strategy just, a little bit. just above me just a little bit so what what they were saying that what I, from what i understood made sense hmm. and then the shout casting wasn't like too over the top and when they started yelling it kind of made sense when they started yelling matt you reminded me Uh-oh. the other example um the guy who made dota out of a warcraft mod mm-hmm. valve hired him to make dota too Oh, no so shit. That's, that's all him. Well, thank you. Hmm. Living comfortably. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you talk about shout casting. So you you come from, from sports world. You're yeah. a sports man, as, yeah. as we all know. Where does esports come into this? Does something like Dota, do you think it has a... Because think about football, right? Mm-hmm. Like football is something that's so widely accepted in America. And even football in the grander sense of the the, the world's football, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Where it becomes a thing where you don't necessarily have to know every nitty gritty detail. You don't have to let necessarily know whatever, but you can just be someone who says, fuck it, I'm from Baltimore. I'm going to wear a purple shirt because my football t- – don't even care. But it's just – do you think esports, do you think Dota, do you think anything has the potential to get to that point? I mean, it's going to take some time, but I could – I could see this like being I'm a not thing. Sure, if I could see buying replica jerseys in a store with some dude's like screen name. You say that shit, back. but like Team Liquid has a store. But we probably, I mean, the think of right. store. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure they do. I don't yeah. think they're gonna have like. Well, think think, go back like to 1960, right? Were people buying replica Colts jerseys back then? Like. I don't know. And, and was it as widely accepted? I mean, back then, probably just because we were kind of forced to. We had nothing else yeah. as entertainment other than, like, fucking radio shows with Johnny I mean, Carson. I guess it could happen. I just I don't see it happening soon. I mean, well, I mean, the ev- It's definitely still niche. It's, like, it's not... It's yeah. not going to, you know, ap- happen tomorrow. But, yeah. like, I, the, the legs are crawling. Like, there's a reason why, you know, NBC had that Rocket League tournament. That's true. That's there's true. a reason why ESPN has... Is putting like Call of Duty tournaments on next games. Sure. Every you know, time TBS I is doing Street Fighter and Evo shit. Yeah. Like, Every time I go to the movies now, there's a thing that happens beforehand. Uh, the the movies up here and it says like uh, Welcome to where what are they up there? Cinemark is that what they are? Yeah. And it's it says the world's best home for uh, movies, live entertainment, and esports. And they have these little things and like actually they, says esports. Esports. The words esports. And it and the live entertainment they're talking about is like those fathom events they do where they like mm. beam you into whatever. Um, the esports sports. they're talking about, they're like they even say like look check for check our website for special esports events and they have images of like huh. people with laptops sitting in a movie theater all doing a LAN party and, and playing whatever uh-huh. like league and, and whatever. It's mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not educated in this field a lot. It seems like a niche thing, but it seems like it's growing to I a mean, point where. I mean, ten million people watch this. Actually, ten. I thought earlier you said twenty. Uh, maybe maybe twenty. Sorry, it is twenty. Another number I have was ten. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, over twenty million people, and how many concurrently did uh, Valve say? Uh, at one point, well over two million at peak concurrent. Damn, it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Part of it is going to be understanding, like the video game. games. Like, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. going to be part of it. Like, I, I don't expect you or you or your the average gamer to step in and look at Dota and be like, "Oh shit!" But like, I don't know. I can equate this to me watching baseball. Like, I understand baseball. I I like watching it because mm-hmm. I understand it. Some people are turned off because they don't fully understand baseball. They don't mm-hmm. want to watch it. I just now I mean, I, now I'm doing it in a video game sense. I think I understand MOBAs enough it's just not something i particularly want to watch you get the general moba strategies but when you're watching them they're saying like the fucking right, the, specific. the specific item yeah I don't know, like, like i, I heard the word blink dagger i think over 300 times in three hours of watching it See, like, like I, i've never been appealed <laughs> to 
like that type of uh i guess gaming where like it's just that is their life that is the thing like i'm not i'm not even sure if they see it as a game anymore no people don't but but on the grander scale of things like i can watch evo i can watch different even, things like, so they, even where where dota's not there like i yeah. i don't know that this is even that I, I i barely i don't know yeah i mean it's it's, it's nothing against the players at all like I, I that's cool that they can, like i wish i could actually do that to be quite honest mm-hmm. um but yeah, I don't know. Just I, I guess just for me, it's just not my form of entertainment. I mean, I can watch it in small, I guess like spurts or whatever. But I couldn't sit there for like two hours and watch something. I, at least not right now. I mean, I mean, I'll I'll say that right now. But I'm sure I'll, there'll be something later in time, and I'll, you know, put my own foot in my mouth. Uh, I mean, I it wasn't totally hard to avoid spoilers of uh, Saturday night's finals, but like I avoided <laughs> spoilers so I could watch the whole final series Sunday morning. That's cool. And I watched all two and a half hours of it. I was expecting it to be five, but yeah, uh, actually, you know what? But no, congratulations to Team Liquid. Pretty cool. Yeah, three and zero. Three, yeah, and they won five in a row going back to earlier that day. Mm. So there's like a winners bracket and a losers bracket. Uh, they were in lower the entire tournament mm. just because of the way they seed in the group stage. Mm-hmm. They fought all their way through in best of threes, and uh, to be, kick off that day. They had to play their semifinal in the lower bracket, which was the final, well, the final of the lower bracket to right. go into the main event. They lost the first game and then won the last two to make it into the finals. Damn. Or then they just carried that momentum and uh, beat uh, Newbie, was the name mm-hmm. of the team, 3 Are they uh, Team Liquid, which country? Do they do country or do they? They do they... countries, but they actually made a point to mention this during the stream. Like, the the it's not so, like, cultural, like, you know, this – country has their team it's right, become right. so mainstream and like in this stage that yeah. teams are built with national like or with multiple national like, that's backgrounds. what i thought like yeah you might have yeah i think like like someone was like polish someone was like from another part of europe someone mm. was uh not like chinese but like from like an asian like country i mm. think it was more like middle eastern but yeah it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool um <laughs> yeah i mean and then at the end of the day like this is just like your average tournament. The people that won, the team took home over $10 million. That's insane. I thought it was more than that. That was 24.2 and they each. That's the pot. Oh, that was the pot. Got so, like, they maybe themselves. took home some money. And, oh, okay, you know, okay. Like, the other semifinals took home some money. You know but The foot should be in my mouth already because I have done something like this. Hmm. Back when G4 was in its prime. Yeah. See? There was a show called Arena. Mm-hmm. I and I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Will Wheaton was a host on that. Hmm. I didn't realize that was him. You all remember BattleBots? Uh, hell yeah, yeah, I remember BattleBots. It's Unrelated. Back. Is it really? Yeah, uh, something like that came back. I don't. I forgot what channel. If, it was if, on. if you are a BattleBot that just flips people on their on their head, you're you you're you're top tier. You <laughs> win right away because they if they can't get back up, you're done. They, they, you win. <sighs> this fucking robot just keeps yeah, doing this. Yeah. Pitchforks. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I did enjoy that because it was just two little teams land partying, playing multiple games against each other. You know, I never saw it. Get a little insight on the players, how they got their team name and all that. I, mean, I have no idea how like Liquid or any of these teams got their name, but it was kind of cool like following. I think that's the part I would like them to show a little more on. This so I, I was actually kind of glad that I ended up watching that um, Giant Bomb cast or that Giant um, giant Bomb um, Dota special because Ben and... That first one? Yeah, the, the one that ignited this whole terrible no, thing. You're no, no, not that oh, one. Oh. The the Dota spectacular thing. Because oh, yeah, yeah, as yeah. Uh, Jeff was unwrapping or undoing those those card packs, and mm. like he was talking shit on all of it. Like Ben yeah, yeah. was actually like dropping real knowledge on the teams and stuff. And like I picked up on this player named Miracle. He was because he mm. he Ben said right there he's like one of the best mid players and not the best. And I was like, mm. oh, well I'll remember her name so that way when I'm watching I. Have, Somebody to kind of like root for. Hypothetically look- root for. Yeah. When it turns out he was on fucking Team Liquid. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so I was kind of following their tournament a little bit. And yeah. Yeah, he's really good. Huh. And uh, I think it was game two of the finals. Literally, they built a strategy around him. So he started mid, and it was just a bad matchup for him against another hero because they blatantly tried to tone him down as much as they could. I don't Can you – is this uh- – Choose any hero you want, or are these so it's it's a draft the... and it's a whole elegant draft system, okay. and um, like you can't duplicate uh heroes once they're drafted or done, or mm-hmm. once they're banned by either team, they can't they're be. Done. So it starts off with two bans each team, then two picks, 
Uh, two bands, two picks, one last band, and then your final pick. Okay. And it, like, it goes back and forth. Um, hmm. But yeah, like uh, the the strategy was to suppress Miracle as much as they could, it seemed like, in the mid. So what Liquid ended up doing was they kind of started falling behind with this, but they were giving Miracle enough time to farm in the in the like the forest like that area. Mm-hmm. And it got to a point where his character became powerful enough where he could start like winning team fights for his team. Oh shit! And then like there was one team fight I forgot. I think it was at uh, a Roshan battle. I think it was in game two that liquid like kind of won the team battle like 4-1 and just the whole momentum swung the gold damn the gold count went up uh the experience and they started yeah started the roll ever hmm. since they could buy the items uh, our out buy items damn it was it was crazy that to was watch. game two yeah of the yeah, yeah of the three. Three. it was crazy to watch because i actually tried watching it last year yeah, 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 but like I, I didn't it's know too much going yeah, on yeah. but now i know what roshan means a... i know what the agus is like I'll never know there's, these things, but that's There's fine. some stuff going on, and I understood, and like I'm watching it. And it might not don't understand like 40% of it, but that's 60. What's I was the, um, digging. the pacing of it? Is everything like fast-paced? Are the matches really short? Or? The, the matches are like an hour, aren't they? Usually? Like a Dota match can average about an hour. Uh, mm-hmm. But the games I watched, they were done around the 40-minute mark. And um, what you can do in tournament Dota is you can concede games. Mm. So like once once it's pretty clear cut that you're invading the base and you're about to kill the agent, like they'll just like, GG and then are the players like I I guess you I guess you can hear them talk to each other. So stuff. uh the way there's it was like a circular stage, um and there was two soundproof booths. So mm. they can't hear each other Yeah, guys. And you can't hear the shoutcaster too because the arena is hearing the shoutcaster like talk. Okay. So That's, yeah, and then the teams are in their separate booths and like you have headsets on so you can talk to each other, not yelling across, but right. Yeah, it's hmm. that was. That was I'm saying like, I mean, like, are they like intense? Are they like yelling? Or oh like, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, yeah. Because I mean, there's some of them just being like right. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, or... it is a sport, and they yeah. are playing for co- competition, and ten million dollars is yeah. on the line. Has there yeah. been like any like sore losers? I'm sure I didn't see anything that bad. Like yeah. f- like like stuff like Evo, you you'll see that where like people yeah. just oh, like, yeah, slam yeah, their yeah. arcade stick down, and, like flip a chair or something. I think I think the game by itself and i can kind of attest this a little bit more like playing tennis like it's such a, like a mental thing yeah. a little bit um and i was always like be quick to bring myself down and that kind of changed my attitude about like mentally a lot especially in games nowadays uh, i'm able to calm myself down a lot better and okay. don't let shovel knight be a bad example <laughs> um but no uh, like with in like a team game though, like you like you might get mad, but you yeah. have a team to think about, and like you know you also have teammates that can like try to simmer you down, and yeah. 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 And so I think Dota helps to that a little bit more, but I'm sure there's some salt somewhere with yeah. newbie and LFY. Because because uh, now the more I'm thinking about it and thinking about G4, it's like I would totally watch Unreal Tournament. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the word. I used to watch in, Unreal Tournament, like name. Arena. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like the show Arena. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. my favorite one to watch. That's yep. so calm. Um, mm, mm, mm. I do one thing I want to mention was the end of it. So Liquid wins, and then it goes to the back. Keep in mind, Liquid. I'm pretty sure three of their members are like 20 or 19. Yeah, like not old enough to drink. Right, right, right. Go back to this fucking room. They have bottles of champagne, champagne oh just ready to go. And like, you can tell these like 19 year olds have never opened champagne because it's so awkward. Them trying to like do it is taking them forever. It's to the point where like, the shoutcaster is like, "Well, I guess they'll celebrate once they figure out how to open the bottles." And it got real awkward. Oh, <laughs> and them out. yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really, it was really bad. And I'm just sitting there laughing at them. But then like in the back of my mind, I was thinking, "Well, well shit, they just won 10 million dollars. They don't give a fuck. They could yeah. buy three people to open the champagne for them, <laughs> yeah, really, <laughs> and still have 10 million dollars left." <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it, I mean, it does really matter to these players. I think it's just more than the money. I think it's a pride thing because uh, totally, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the money's uh, Kuroki. I think I'm saying that right. Mm. Like he, like there's that dumbass shield that's like the trophy, and mm-hmm. it's, it is like I think it's the Aegis. I think they call it or whatever. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, <laughs> Like, he started holding it, and then, like, he was fine at first, and then, like, I think, like, he started hugging people, and then he just realized he just won the biggest Dota tournament, like, yearly. And yeah. he, you could tell he was, like, starting to choke up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, so. totally. 
Yeah, it's true. crazy. Like we sit here and kind of laugh at all oh, esports, but they're no. I mean, these dudes no, like spend their like Mark said, like they spend their lives doing this. Yeah, that's, like that's a, like it's a, it, it's a, it's a testament to have it all kind of pay off in that one big yep. big moment. Really I mean, cool. like that's the part that like that I envy is I wish I had that dedication to that, one thing, that dedication to oh, one game. game, and just constantly. I mean, yeah. but like I feel like there there has to be so much stress involved with that. Oh yeah. I think being good at anything like that, like no matter yeah. what you are, and you also you have to be a little crazy to do that. But it's also neat to find people just as dedicated as you. Yeah. And that's I think also helps when you get paid to do it. Mm. And that's the <laughs> other thing. It's like, how do you even do that? Like sponsorships and being good. So I mean, but how do you get recognized? You just stream constantly, you I guess. Stream. I mean, if you come across like one of these players and they recognize, like, oh, he had a good pattern, yeah. and he might yeah. friend you, like you yeah. know, a lot dedication, of dedication. That's where it starts. Yeah, yeah I mean, even the shoutcasters were saying, you know, oh, they just won the biggest Dota competition. Now they're gonna go in their hotel rooms and probably just play more Dota because they like doing it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just, not, that's yeah. just fucking nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, um, oh, Dota. I'm back in now. Oh yeah, you saw the last time I played was July 25th. Look tonight. If we all that'll be updated. If we all wanted to, I mean, probably not Matt Dancer, but if we all wanted to pick one game that we were esports worthy. What game would that be? Does it matter? Wait, like, wait, the, does it matter that, the market or just like hypothetically? A game that we would want to be good at, or yeah. one that we'd want to watch? That you that you would want to be good at? Oh shit! I, I guess watch. I guess we can do a two part question. One game, esports good. I don't think like there's a market for it really, but I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm it sure could be, it, it could be hypothetical. Just just you know, you're you're, you're dreaming that you. But would yeah, there was a like, there was a have a tournament for there was a market out there, and I think esports might do something for it. NHL, hands down. Mm. Cool. Did not one on one like the team one, like the six on six. Because sure I actually so. think I'm almost there with playing defense a lot. I think mine might be Unreal Tournament. That's a good answer too. Something big like that. I love Capture the Flag. Yeah. And if it was specifically that, I would be down. Oh, uh, then Counter Strike. I have two answers. I think my <laughs> my answer's got to be a fighting game. I just don't know which one to land on. I'm leaning towards Injustice just because it's the most recent one, but something mm -hmm. and it's trending up. Yeah. Oh man, like yeah, like if it feels a fighting game, I would want to be good at uh, Guilty Gear. Yeah, that seems good. A good way to go. Or, or Smash, you know Smash. Or uh, oh yeah, I completely forgot about Smash. I don't know. I like it. I, you but know what though, honestly, Fox and Falco fights. I'll, all I'll the time. be I'll be a little bit of a dick here. I feel like I'm already pretty good at Smash. I I come on, I beat you on stream or on video. I don't You're know not that good. I was out of touch at that point. Oh okay. Yeah. Mark remembers my peak. We got we got to a point where we were that we knew each other's yeah 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 combos and oh, everything every, every, everything was predictable so yeah. it like we just had but to you stop. remember go back there's a couple <laughs> yeah. old videos me and Darius head to head Ness yeah. versus Lucas those fucking matches were insane yeah I'm I'm rusty I gotta get back yeah into that uh so I got one thing show and tell small but I have a question to follow up mm. Team Meat tweeted this week picture of super meat boy running on switch and said by the way guess what's coming pretty dope didn't we know that already? that's what i thought was like there was no, super, like super meat boy forever was announced to come oh. to switch probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's a different game i guess i'm guessing the old you no know, the ui probably just binding of isaac on the yeah yeah, yeah. Thing. never mind so super meat boy announced to officially come to switch which was really dope mm. uh really really exciting that then led to a bunch of indie devs tweeting pictures of their games running on Switch. So like Stardew Valley, um, Mutant Muds, etc. Like a whole bunch, a couple of indie developers started doing that. Simultaneously, Derek Yu announced his new game. Derek Yu, creator of Spelunky, mm. uh, UFO Fifty. Yeah, you sent me his trailer. Mm hmm. So UFO I never Fifty got is to to it. fifty games made by indie developers. Mm. and it's that one's coming early next year but it had me thinking which indie developer would you want to see tweet a picture of their game running on switch because my answer is spelunky i want to see derek you tweet <laughs> spelunky running on switch um e is indie developer yeah if there's my dreams already come true what's that probably oh yeah 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 <laughs> i mean my go-to answer good... would be hotline oh yeah that's a good one but uh but if I had to pick a different answer than just that, um, 
Hmm. Well, Hotline's a really good answer, though. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah that, that's true, yeah. It, w- it would definitely uh, put Mr. Shifty out of commission in terms mm. of sales. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll just go with that. I think it's a good answer. It'd be a good, a good, good fit for Switch. It would be interesting to see it on Switch mm-hmm. more than anything. Like, you're going to let this game be on there? Oh, uh, they've... they've brought the walls way down though they're they're good yeah i mean i don't think i've ever fallen in love with any game as much as i did with rocket league like i don't know that'll ever happen again well you're not all the way through shovel knight yet well but shovel knight's already on switch i guess there's um i don't know if you guys saw but there's i saw a trailer for for a switch game coming called hollow Mm -mm. it pretty much looks like dead space all right. Like even a trailer has a Dead Space vibe. It's just a person on a ship hmm. being chased by all these weird morphing looking demon creature alien things, but it's all like still frame motion and it's kind of has like that like uh like Halo 3 vibe where everything's just like still and you're just like panning through and the song is another cover of Mad World, but it's a woman singing it. Mm. And Pretty it's good. just like, oh man, this looks really cool. Pretty good. But there was like a hyperlight game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In spirit, yeah, it looked like I forget the name of it though. But I almost bought that the other day. I don't uh, remember. You're like some like dead dude. Yeah, I saw people talking about it. Yeah, it looks cool though. Yeah. But yeah, but uh, UFO fifty. Um, that game looks real good. So what is that like? Each developer gets like ten games to make and put them. Maybe there. something like that. It seems like it. But yeah, it it's really cool that Derek Hughes finally doing something else. But this, the only other name I remember was the 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 developer of Devolver or not Devolver of uh, Downwell. Yeah, yeah. Doing something, a couple other ones, but fucking cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Fucking real cool. Well, that's gonna do it for episode two ten of the Free Cheese Podcast. If you like this episode, you can find it and all the rest of our episodes on thefreecheese dot com, where we have all of our articles and stuff. Right now, our cover story, Cross, is all about crossovers. I got a thing going up about when reality crosses with video games soon, if not now. Later this week, I got a little piece going up about Mugen. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a can of worms. Yeah, it is. Got some stuff on Sonic and Mario later in the month. All kinds of stuff. Super, super fun. Super duper great. Um you can find all the rest of the episodes on iTunes and Google Play Store where you can like, review, subscribe, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Email us, podcast at thefreecheese.com. Follow us on Twitter. Mark is at aug underscore mental. Matt is at Maddie Ice one through one. The Free Cheese is at some free cheese. And I am at the free cheese. That's it. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, listener, for hanging out. And we'll see you in another week. Bye-bye.